in San Diego. There's a hit. Ronald Acuna to left field. Back is Oliveras, and that ball is out of here. Austin Riley hits it to left. Folks, that's what you call back to back. And he hits this hard down the right field side, and that's going to be extra bases. First pitch swinging, and how about that? This one up the Atlanta is having a good old time in Kansas City. Got shellacked, but learned how to hit, and that right there is what's kept him in the league, guys. Oh, my. Acuna keeps it going. He's two for two. The two-run homer to left. left. And that ball is off the wall, but it's foul, just this foul. One. Did it hit off the foul? It's, it's fair. a fair ball. That's a fair ball. They are down to five on the clock, whether they want to challenge or not, and they will. Almost just juts directly out, but that's a fair baseball. It's definitive as far as I can see. You know, crew chief is Adrian Johnson. Atlanta is challenging the call of a foul ball. My question is, what will they rule that now? Is it just going to be a straight single? Is it umpire's discretion? Do we get to choose? You get to choose, okay. yes. That, uh, I look like he got some yellow tape right in the middle of it. Look like he gave on, up on it a little bit too soon. If, in fact, it is ruled a fair ball, the added challenge of placing the runners. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The ball is fair. Runners will be placed at first and second base. Atlanta retains their challenge. Why the umpires in New York may have placed the runners that they did. Acuna was going back to tag. Okay, that explains some so, of it. So. I'm sure Matt's thinking he could have at least reached second on that. Oh, no question. Snit's going to ask the same question, I think. We have a foul ball that will be reversed to fair. The issue of runner placement is also decided entirely in New York. The umpires on the field don't have a say. This is the high home camera angle, not shown on TV, we found it on anyway though, that New York uses to decide runner placement issues. It shows where everyone is and what they're doing the moment the ball is called foul. Calling foul kills play, so whatever happens after doesn't count. The replay official only uses what happens at the moment of foul ball and everything before. You can't unring the timeout bell, so to speak, so you do your best with what's before and at the moment. We see that regardless of fair or foul, the base runner goes back to tag. The question is, would the runner get to third if the ball was fair or not? We can't assume the fielder wouldn't have fielded it with greater urgency had that call been made, because again, killing time kills play. Take another look. Where would you place runners? Batter obviously can't get to second unless R1 gets to third, so do you have him there or not? Well, Brian Snicker's not very happy. He may not be around for much longer. Look at Walsh trying to get in the way. He's saying, this is one of my fastest guys. Are you telling me he, he only was going to get one base on that? Wow. He's got an argument. Now, by rule, Brian Snicker should be ejected right now. And he just was. Yes. Bungus got tossed. First time this year, Brian Snicker has been ejected Get from a ball money. game. Here he goes. Yep. Get your money's worth. And what Brian Snicker is probably doing is saying, look, I know it's not your call, but I can't argue with the guy in New York, so you're going to have to take it. Right. And I don't know if it was worth getting thrown out in the second inning with his team up 5-1. He's got an argument. 